Hi, welcome to Bakes and Blenders. I'm Colleen, and today we're going to be making these amazing lavender macaron shells and filling them with a blackberry buttercream and crystallized ginger. It's really not as difficult as you may think, so if you're excited to make some macarons, let's get started. If you're using egg white powder, make sure that's well combined with your sugar. Then mix your sugar in with your egg whites and we're gonna put that over a double boiler just long enough to melt the sugar. For me, that's about 90 seconds. You don't wanna get your egg mixture too hot or else your shells will be wrinkly. Before you start making your meringue, make sure that your work area is ready and completely prepared. I will leave a link below and on the video for my five-step process for getting ready to make macarons. Now you can whip your Swiss meringue until you are almost at stiff peaks. That's when we're going to add our color. I prefer the low and slow approach to whipping my meringue. So I whip on a KitchenAid Speed 4 for about seven to ten minutes before I add the color and then do an additional three to five minutes usually to get to stiff peaks. You'll find the recipes used in this video in the description box below. Time to combine our dry ingredients and our meringue. Do as I say and not as I do. In this video, I decided to add my meringue to my dry ingredients. I actually find it easier to add dry ingredients to your meringue. But you can try both ways and see which works for you. Macaronage is the process of folding your ingredients together and getting the right consistency for your macarons. This is a very important step because this is key to getting gorgeous feet and full shells. First what you want to do is just focus on very gently combining your dry ingredients and your Swiss meringue. Once everything is combined, you don't have to be quite as gentle, but still be kind of gentle, and you're going to begin to slightly deflate the batter. You don't want all of that air in there or else you're going to end up with hollow shells. So you're going to continue to fold, you might want to press your batter against the bowl a little bit, and you're going to continue this macaronage process until your batter flows like slow moving lava. Once you find that your batter is at the right consistency, you can go ahead and fill up your piping bag. To pipe your lavender macaron shells, hold your bag straight up and down over your baking sheet. Apply even pressure. When you've got the right size, stop squeezing and then flick your tip just a little bit to pull away from the shell and continue piping until your sheet is full. Now as you're piping, if you notice that your macaron batter is just a bit too thick, don't worry. Squeeze it back into a bowl if necessary. You can do a few folds, but you might not need that. And then pour it back into your bag. That should loosen it up enough and you can continue piping. Once you've piped your entire baking sheet, you can slam it on the counter a few times, then use a toothpick to pop any air bubbles you might see in your shells or to fix any bumps you might have. If you want, you can top some of your macaron shells with pieces of the dried lavender that we sifted out of our dry ingredients. Now let your piped lavender macaron shells sit until they are dry enough that you can gently touch the surface and not mess them up. For me, this only takes about 15 minutes. Repeat this with both of your baking trays. 
Your macaron shells are done baking when you can gently poke one on the side and it doesn't wiggle at all. If it does wiggle, just continue baking for another minute or two and then check again. When they're all done, take them out and let them cool completely on the baking sheet. Afterwards, you can pull them off and place them onto a cooling rack to wait to be filled. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Filling macarons is my absolute favorite part of this process. If you're looking for more ideas of fun ways to fill your macarons, you can find my video about that. I'll put a link up above and down below. Check that out, tons of great ideas. Before you begin filling your macarons, I definitely recommend matching them up by size so that they have their perfect pair. Now, even if you use a template, and there are free ones in the resource library, link below, you're going to have different size macaron shells, unless you're a robot, in which case I'm super impressed that you're making macarons. So, pair them up. It's gonna make your life easier when it comes time to fill. I'm filling these lavender macaron shells with an easy blackberry buttercream. It's super delicious, simple to make. You don't even need fresh or frozen blackberries. So check out the recipe in the link below. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Now, lavender and blackberry is fantastic on its own, but I am extra and I needed just a little something extra going on with these macarons. So, I'm using a tiny piece of crystallized ginger in the center of each macaron. If you don't like ginger, you don't have to do this. If you can't find crystallized ginger but you still want that little bit of a kick, you could add powdered ginger to your buttercream. It's completely up to you. Now the hard part. You need to let these macarons sit for at least one day in the fridge in an airtight container before you dig in. That's what's gonna give you the best flavor and texture. I hope you love these lavender and blackberry macarons as much as I do. Leave a comment below and tell me which flavor of macarons you would like to see next. Happy baking!